Welcome to New Caledonia, a tropical paradise located less than 1,500 kilometers off Australia's east coast. Despite its breathtaking landscapes, rich culture, and thousands of endemic flora and fauna, many people around the world have never even heard of this hidden gem. So why is New Caledonia still unknown to so many people? While the island has much to offer, with its pristine beaches and a rich cultural heritage, it has not yet developed a strong tourism industry. Despite these challenges, we were curious to know if New Caledonia was worth visiting. With its stunning natural beauty and unparalleled biodiversity, we spent a week asking ourselves, what makes New Caledonia so unique? Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Upshot Project. We officially landed in New Caledonia yesterday, but we took some time to catch up yesterday evening with my cousin who lives here. But for today's first full day here... We're picking up some supplies for lunch before we go to this gorgeous place called... Le True Blue de Yatti, or what it's probably called... Le True Blue de Yatti. With my cousin as our guide, we cautiously wandered down into the scenic waterway. With signs warning us of the dangers in entering here, we had faith that what she said was true. You only ever come here on weekends. If there were loud alarms going off, we had about five minutes to get out of the water and get to higher ground. Dangers aside, it really is a marvel to behold, particularly being the only ones around. Jumping off high rocks, swimming with fish and basking in the sun, we were pleasantly surprised by the start of our journey, hoping this feeling would last. Yesterday, True Blue de Yate, it was the perfect way of starting this trip. And I'm really hoping that, because this is the first time I've been in New Caledonia, it is just the preview of what is to come. We are currently driving up the west coast and we're going to stop in Purai to pick up some supplies before going beach camping in Poe and it's hopefully going to be an amazing and unique sunset. So I know, this is also the first time we will be camping together. Ever. Ever. basically just pulled over on the side of the road having just found this amazing structure and that's all I've got to say almost right on the beach let me show you I mean, it could be worse. Welcome to Poe. It's just a bit windy. And hopefully um, we're not going to fly away with the tents tonight. But we are protected by the trees. Hopefully it should be all right. Hoping to see some dugongs. Hoping to see some sea crates, which are basically like a soft version of sea snakes. Yeah, but for now, let's prepare the, the camp for tonight. So we were installing the tent and um, when we arrived to the step of putting the sleeping bags in the tent we realized that um, we forgot the sleeping bags. It looks a bit more cozy because it's on thick grass so hopefully... <laughs> oh we don't even have blanket. It's a quarter past five 
I guess, yeah, we're gonna prepare some food and maybe go for a walk on the beach. Yeah? Sounds perfect. Perfect. So good to be eating, looking at a fire, and then hearing the noises of nature. We got geckos, birds. Good morning. The water is. Amazing, I've never seen something like that. It's beautiful. It's pink, purple, blue, and everything reflects in the water. It's. It's. I have no words. It looks like a Bob Ross painting. Happy little accident. Well, after that very wonderfully relaxing morning, I think we're gonna head off from the west coast, mm -hmm. travel over to the east. Yeah. We are heading to Yangen. 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 But um, on our way there, we're going to stop to uh, the Bay of Turtles and a Holy Rock. The road so far has been good, really good. Um, if you want to come to New Caledonia, it's imperative that you rent a car. There's buses here, but time-wise, it makes more sense to rent a car. And it's not that expensive if you can find the right deal. Also, you'll be driving on the left-hand side of the car. So be prepared. <laughs> now let's go back on the road to Yen Yen. So after three and a half hours of driving, we've finally made it to the east coast of New Caledonia in a place called Yengen. And we've finally seen what it is famous for, which I think is called the chicken rock. Or... La, la poule pondeuse de Yengen. We are now on a campground right next to a tribe. And um, the guy that runs the campground told us that there's a lady right across the road from the camp that can cook us some homemade traditional meals. So we ordered some. It's only takeaway. It's supposed to be ready in an hour. Pretty excited to eat some traditional New Caledonian food. So in the meantime, cheers. Well, Whilst Hayden is having, he thinks, prawns and fish? No, no. no. I'm just going to stick with the fact that that's fish and that is some sort of wonderfully custody coconutty thing. Okay. But you've also got just that. And I got it, but I've got actually full prawns. And he wants to go half. I don't want to go half. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. I guess I want to try the fish as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's try it. Honestly, I have no idea what any of this is, except I think that looks like a banana. Yeah. That's a tomato and that's a piece of fish. Outside of that... I've got no idea. Tastes amazing, though. 
After a hell of a night where we woke up quite early and now it's time for a snorkel. Hopefully we're gonna see some fishes. Whee. By this point, we felt the excitement begin to fade as we rushed to experience as much as possible. The Tall Ferns Provincial Park, the Blue River Provincial Park, Noumea, it almost felt like everything was just blurring together. We were checking items off a list instead of actually appreciating what was offered to us at the time. We lost track of finding the unique elements that actually make up New Caledonia. Without knowing, we were forcing ourselves to have fun simply because we were on holiday. But on day six, in the pouring rain, we thought, f it, let's go for a swim. Unfortunately yesterday we were not able to catch any of the cargoes, so the, the national uh, bird of the country. Um, instead we went on that little hike and went for a swim in a creek. Yesterday we came back after that uh, to Sol's uncle's place, which is where we're currently staying right now. But today what we're planning on doing is going into Numia because our rental car has to go back today. and. With that, we have to try and figure out what we're going to do with ourselves. So we've packed snorkeling gear because we're kind of hoping to get a tour kind of last minute to go out to one of the islands. But as a plan B, uh, we're going to do a bit of a walk around Numea and sort of explore all the little local sites, things like museums, aquariums, that sort of stuff. Um, should be a good day, but we'll see how we go. Alrighty, so it's about quarter to 11. We've thankfully been able to, I think, nab tickets to go on to Ilo Mayat, um, beautiful little luxury sort of place but um, we've been told that the snorkeling is going to be good and that we're allowed to and fingers crossed there's a lot of fish so here we go.
As we reflect on our journey in New Caledonia, we can't help but realize what made it so unique. The simplicity of the way of living, the incredibly fresh food and the easygoing nature of locals. What this trip left us asking was, why do we constantly rush to tick off items on our bucket list instead of taking the time to fully appreciate and immerse ourselves in the present moment? Maybe it's time to slow down and start asking yourself, what truly brings you happiness? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to follow more of our adventures because right now we're on another one. Sol, where are we? Well, I guess you're going to need to watch our next video to know exactly where our next adventure will be. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.